tiza. Hello everybody and welcome to Freakani FX where I'm going to show you today how to create the VHS camcorder look this application that I heard of some days ago um, I look for it in the internet and it looks like it looks pretty nice but you know it's something that can be made in After Effects so there's no need for buying this application the only thing you're gonna need is some VHS tech footage um, I will provide some in my description in the description below and if in case if it isn't enough in some other tutorials I provided other stock footage that can be really helpful for you and actually this tutorial uh, it isn't hard it's medium actually but you know I can't spend time in explaining everything that I'm doing so you know it's a little bit hard if you don't know about it okay so we're gonna come to a, a composition and you know uh, make sure that it is set to 4.3, that is the VHS uh, setting. Um, yeah, actually, that's me. I'm very handsome, I know. This is actually a Adventure Time Steampunk project I'm working on. I'm working on. And uh, the first thing that we want to do is come um, make a new adjustment layer. And we're going to set the contra contrast effect. Um, we're gonna put a very high contrast, something like 30. We're gonna dupli duplicate it, and we're gonna uh, put the second one to minus 10. Actually, we should put something more, something like minus uh, 25, but we're gonna leave it like minus 10. You will see later why we do this. And uh, we also wanna take the hue saturation effect. Um, as you can see here, the saturation is pretty low, you almost cannot see the color, so we're gonna put saturation maybe to minus 70, yeah, so that the color is very, very low, you cannot almost see it. Alright, so now we see that here we have some text, so we wanna add that. We wanna come over there, it's okay. Um, AM 49 August 20, 1995. Okay, so AM, oops, AM dot uh, 409 August 20, 1995. Um, we're gonna put this a little bit lower. Was this over here? Yes. Or write something like that and we want to set it to white and also we want to put it uh, as we can see this is like it's a little bit higher so we want to make this higher also okay it looks fine like that and actually if you didn't have this phone I provided in one of my tutorials in my first tutorial I think so you can check it out um, we can see that there's a very soft black stroke surrounding the the letter. So we're gonna do that over here. We make sure that the color is black, and we're gonna put um, maybe two. I think two. Yeah, that will work out. Um, yes, it looks fine like that. Maybe we can move it a little bit around there. And now we want to pre-compose this, so you come out here, pre-compose, um, we can call this effects, I always call the first layer effects, I don't know why I do that. Um, we want to come to composition, uh, the, set the adjust, adjustments, and um, we want to set a better quality, so we're gonna look the aspect radio, um, we're gonna set this maybe to 500, something like that. Yes, and we want to scale this down. Yep. Yes, that's it. We want to scale this down so that you know it loses quality. Now we want to duplicate two times this layer, and we want to do 
just as my first tutorial one to come here and get a change color effect oh no sorry not this one uh change channels that is change channel we're gonna come to uh first one when i said only the green the red on set it to add second one red off blue off set it to add the third one red off green off okay so as you can see over here that especially in the white areas the red is this looks like the red is one side and the blue is at one on the other side so for making this we have to look at the position of all of them we're gonna set this maybe to um maybe to this one to four 334.7 and the lowest one to 332.3 and we can see that this way we we get that effect that we can see over here I'm gonna set it actually a little bit more because uh, maybe that 9 here that 1 that's it that looks pretty nice I like it now we're gonna pre-compose this again. I'm gonna set it um color operation. Um we have to now uh, scale up the composition so we set it as it was before. Oops up uh, zero. Um we scale up our composition. That's it. So you can see we have already a uh, bad quality image with this uh, thing green and I mean red and blue thing um, we went now to add another adjustment layer and we're not getting the focus mask effect I want to set the level to 100 and the radio to 10 and we can see that this makes actually a difference not sure, I think I'm gonna actually to get this letter, the letter, so I'm going to set the stroke a little bit down, something very, very low. Let's put it to, where's it? Okay, I'm gonna put it, leave it at one. That's it, I, yes, I love it like that. And we're gonna get another adjustment layer. And we wanna do as um as my first tutorial again, we're gonna get um distortion with waves effect, but we want to apply it only to only here. Around there will work out. Yes, so we take this, we expand to the wall thing, and we're gonna set it to soft grain. Um, when the direction set it to zero so that it is horizontal and we want to set this very low so that you know the image goes like yes like that so that it completely kills the image um, maybe we should put this a little bit smoother so maybe two yes two will work out and now the next thing we want to do is uh, add some random lights. That, I mean, random lines. And in my first tutorial, I uploaded this folder, and there was this folder called Pop Line, and you can see that these are the typical random lines that appear in a VHS tape. But you know, making an animation with this takes a lot of time, so I'm going to upload. In the, you can download in the in the description below this all the folder that uh, I made for you that is called pop lines there is a, a, actually an animation with these lines and I also added some extra grain in the background as you can see so that it looks better so we wanna import this when I come over here uh, just look just tap um, pop lines we're gonna select all of them. JPG sequence open. 
right click interpretate principle we're gonna loop it up and we want to put this on top right click uh, transform adjust the composition and we're gonna set it to screen so as you can see here if you if we turn off if if you don't want this random lines into your composition turn off you will see that it got it gets uh, darker so you have to come to our first pre-composition come to the adjustment layer and the second contrast that we made you'll have to put it like minus 25 so that you know it looks like an original tape ad. I want I do want those random lines so I'm gonna leave it like minus 10 and I'm gonna put it on yes I really like how it looks and uh, well the last thing we have to do is taking a another uh, tracking effect so I'm gonna take this one tape noise loop because this is actually a um, clean tape you know so that oops oh, I did it the wrong way so I'm gonna select all of them here it is okay and um, we wanna interpret principal loop that also all right and we wanna put this on top transform adjust the composition and we want to set it to hard light that's it well maybe in the in the brightest areas we can see the noise but you know only in the brightest areas in the darker you we can see almost anything so this is it this is our um, VHS camcorder effect without needed uh, with the need of you know downloading the application and I hope you found this tutorial you know practical for use and make sure you subscribe if this was helpful and feel free to comment below if you need anything or whatever and I hope you enjoyed so I hope I'll see you next time in my next tutorial so see ya!